Hello there, this is Kentai P and hello and welcome to my vocatude. So, this time as promised I'm going to tell you how to equalize multiple different Vocaloid tracks differently in Fruity Loop Studio. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get us some different Vocaloid voices. I go to the editor and I've already prepared a little something. It's not very good, but it serves for purpose well. So I have three voices, Miku, Gagpoid and Luca. And uh, they all sing together or whatever. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to settings and preference. And we're gonna select rewire all tracks under audio settings. So you will usually have audio device or rewire master but we are specifically choosing rewire all tracks because they should be rewired as different tracks. So and we can see it if we go to view and mixer and here we have three different rewired tracks for each voice one Miku, Gagpoid and Luca and of course the master setting. This is only volume and balance setting. <laughs> I've uh, adapted the volume settings a little bit so Miku has usually a bit louder voice than the other Vocaloids so I've set her down and Luca is a bit more quiet so I've tuned her a bit up. We're gonna close this the tempo setting of this little thingy is 150 and of course I've synced it with Fruity Loop Studio. Now I'm gonna click on play to make the rewire active close this down and of course for rewiring to work I need a rewired channel which is linked to my Vocaloid editor. I've already created that and you should know how to do that from my previous Vocatudes. But in this special case I'm not going to select an FX channel like I usually did. The actual rewiring will be working a bit differently. But first let's go to the songboard. I'm gonna play the little thing I wrote for you and uh, you're gonna hear that it's not equalized at all it's just so you know that there's nothing uh, done to the voices yet okay now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open our over Vocaloid 2 channel window with the rewire. We're gonna select multi options, we're gonna open MIDI options and we'll get this little window which says MIDI settings and here is mappings which is where our directions will be put and here are some drop down menus so we're gonna select input by map and port 1 which means the first track which gets in from our rewire which is Miku and then we change this to output and add another one so input from port 1 will be outputted to port 1 by which uh, the first mixer track is meant so Miku goes to the first mixer track now they repeat the procedure and change the port from 1 to 2 input output all of them go to my bus and now with port 3 and actually that's it already now I'm gonna demonstrate if I open up my mixer board and start the song again you can see that there's that uh, the voices are outputted into the first three mixer tracks and of course that way we can equalize them differently. I'm gonna demonstrate that now. I'm gonna give Miku a little bit chorus and reverb a big verb so she has a bit better acoustic than the other voices. You're gonna hear it right now and now I'm gonna change the other two voices as well Gagpoid is gonna get some reverb as well maybe also a little bit chorus and I'm gonna give him the parametric equalizer too 
and I'll use the press it radio so he'll sound like he's coming out of the radio and uh, like I think I previously have shown you that is achieved by upping the middle bands and cutting the lower and higher bands so and last I'm gonna make Lucas equalizing so you get a bit chorus, reverb, big verb and a lot of delay and uh, how the sand channels work I also showed in my tutorial about how to equalize Vocaloid properly in Fruit Loop Studio so there should be no problem I'm gonna close this down and click play <laughs> And that's it folks. I hope I could help you and write lots of good songs. I'm looking forward to it. And the next tutorial will be on... Well, I'll give you some pointers on how to write songs creatively with Vocaloid and Fruit Loop Studio. I've been getting some requests and so let's be, that'll be what I'm gonna do next time. Have fun!